Hey fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching. In today's reading, we are going to take a look and see whether you and your person will reconnect, okay? So if you're going through a no-contact, no-communication phase of your relationship, we want to see whether there'll be future contact, future communication. More importantly, if the two of you will have a chance to reconnect. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. So with all of that said, let's begin with the reading. You've got Justice card, which I feel like is a really good energy to begin the reading with. Um, you know, Justice is... Justice is definitely serving us justice vibes you know someone here is wanting and i think it might be even mutual someone here is wanting to make things right someone here wants resolution to conflict someone here wants to work things out you know they want to balance the scales if the scales have tipped if things have been a little bit one-sided or uneven this person wants to straighten things out with you they want to apologize okay they may feel as though they have you know they may feel as though there is reason for them to apologize or, you know, they may be seeking your forgiveness or they feel like they're being owed an overdue apology. It just feels like there's this energy of, you know, wanting to straighten things out, wanting to work things out, wanting to work through things and not necessarily sweep under the rug. And, um, you know, in the justice card here, we've got this figure who holds the sword upright and this is the sword of truth. So this person is willing to come at this um, reconciliation with a very truthful energy so they want to speak the truth and they want to hear the truth being spoken like they're they're willing okay and they're prepared to have a conversation with you even if it means you know they're going to be put in this position where they have to be honest where in the past they may not have been so honest so it's like this person finally wants to tell you um, if they were telling you lies before, they want to finally tell you the truth. If they were hiding something before, they want to finally reveal it to you. You know, if they were being dishonest, they now want to be honest. If they were in the wrong, they now want to make it right. So it's a really good energy. It's like, you know, them admitting that they stuffed up or they were wrong in this relationship or they screwed up this relationship. And it's like, this energy is like, okay, how do I fix this now? How can I fix this? How can we make this better? How can we move on from this? So it's a really good energy. And speaking of moving on with the Six of Swords, this is all about that, right? You've got the sailor here who is rowing the boat. And, you know, he's sailing away from turbulent waters towards ca um, smooth, calm seas. So it's like someone he wants to move on, okay? Someone he wants to learn from their past mistakes or they should. If they don't, they should, okay? The cards are advising he you know for, for you or your person or the both of you to move on from the past okay to move on from what was said it doesn't mean to you know forget about it and try to sweep sweep it under the rug and you know pretend it never happened that's not what moving on is and if you think that's what moving on is you've got the wrong idea here you know moving on is of course confronting the pain confronting what happened here but finding a way to heal the pain right finding a way to um you know work through it okay so work you know sail away from this turbulent turmoil waters um, and sail into smooth calm serene seas and this is what your person wants to do it's like or this is what you know the cards are advising for the both of you to do to move on from something here to move on from a past that really feel, feels or felt like turmoil and turbulency okay um if your person is not communicating right now it doesn't mean they're not thinking about you they are okay you've got the six of swords you've got the nine of swords but their thoughts feel a little negative, like their thoughts, like both the energies feel a little anxious, they feel a little nervous. So they may be scared to communicate with you. They may be scared that you might reject them. They may be scared that they may say some things that might hurt you. So if this person has hurt you in the past, they feel very, um, they feel like very awful about it. Okay, they feel very hurt by the fact that they hurt you. And I think them trying to stay away from you is really a way of them trying to protect you, them trying to make sure that they don't hurt you again, right? Um, so them staying away from you is not because, you know, they don't want to reconnect or, you know, that they don't want you. It's not like that. I feel like it's them trying to keep their distance because they're scared of hurting you and they just, they don't want to go back. Something happened here between you and this person where it caused a lot of waves, so to speak. It caused a lot of waves and they don't want to go back to that um, to that situation, right? They want to make things right or they want to 
they want to move on from that they want to let go um, and this is what the cards are strongly advising for you to do as well um, you know your person is very much attracted to you they are very drawn to your energy and they are very drawn to this connection it's just that they may have some things that they're going through if it is something personal that they're going through and it just feels like this person is so swept up in their emotions that they're stopping to think how this is affecting your connection with them okay so maybe just give them a little bit of time a little bit of space but you know they've not stopped being attracted to you they've not stopped you know um, being in awe of you like your person is very it just feels like they are very drawn to you they are very attracted to you if they've suddenly stopped talking and stopped communicating I think there's just some things going on in their life and you'll hear from them you will you'll hear from them soon as well ace of pentacles I mean you've got the ace of pentacles here and the ace of cups I feel like there will be a beautiful chance for the both of you to reconnect okay so if they've ghosted you I think there's some things that are going on with your person and instead of you know them having a conversation to you about it they decided to just you know not talk about it and just sort of disappear this could be someone who's running away from their emotions or it could be someone who's finding it really hard to manage their emotions but the ace of pentacles i do think that this is someone who wants to build a solid connection with you and i do see that this is someone who's going to offer you commitment or who is or who has offered you commitment okay and this um, this person does feel like like they've got stability. They do feel like a stable energy. They do feel like someone who is very loyal and very committed. Okay, um, whatever you're going through, I think is a bit of an exception. Like, or I think whatever you're going through has made them realize. Okay, it's made them realize just how much they want to commit to you and how much they want to commit to this connection and commit to making it work. But they just need some time and some space to figure things out, okay? Um, but Ace, you know, the Ace of Pentacles tells us that there is room in this connection for growth, okay? There's room for feelings to grow, for the both of you to grow as individuals, um, for this relationship to grow. So there's room for growth and there's room for, you know, for branching out here. And yes, I do see this person offering you commitment. I also see that, you know, with the Ace of Cups, this is someone offering you their heart as well. This is someone who's offering, like, the heart chakras are being opened here. And I think this is someone, you know, you have, an, you have that energy where you're likely going to activate the opening of their heart chakra. And, you know, they will do the same to you, right? Um, so, you know, you've got a beautiful commitment. And then you've got this beautiful heart opening. And even, like, this spiritual awakening that is going on between you and your person. I think the both of you... Like the both of you have a really profound effect on each other. You both are activating each other's heart chakras um, and you're both awakening each other to maybe like some very new and exciting feelings. And look, this could be the other reason why your person maybe has pulled away or why, you know, you guys are going through what you're going through. Um, it may look, the, the roles might be reversed and it may be you that has pulled away and that isn't talking, right? And maybe this is how your person is feeling, right? Um, Nine of Swords, I definitely feel like someone he's stressing, especially like this person might be stressing over you. You might be stressing over this person. This person is scared that they may lose you or they might be scared that they screw this up, you know, forever. And there's just no going back from this. There is this energy of fear. There is this energy of sleepless nights, of keeping them up at night. I also think your person might be a bit of a stress head and um, they don't manage their emotions very well. There's a lot of like tension in the energies a lot of friction here in the energies so maybe this person is stressing over you know what's to come stressing over what decision they should make or it feels like your person is like especially at night i think at night they may have a tendency to play with their phone am i right um and your person is like they might be rereading your old text messages that you sent them they might be looking back at the photos that the two of you took together or they might be trying to put together text message and trying to send it to you, but they don't, they can't build up the courage to hit send. So it might just be sitting in their inbox and they might be typing it and retyping it and then deleting it and then typing it back up again and then trying to hit send, but they, they might send it to themselves or they might send it to um, you know someone else, like a friend, to read it over. And yet they'll do it again and again and again, but they, don't, they won't actually send it to you, not just yet anyways. It just feels like this person is so nervous and so tense as well. Um, someone, I do see someone here shedding tears, someone is crying, and someone might be drinking a little bit more than usual. Um, I don't know if it's you or if it's your person, sort of, you know, leaning into that kind of energy to cope with the stress of it. 
but I do see tears. I do see tears being set, shed, like someone being very visibly and emotionally upset. But there is forgiveness with the Ace of Cups. There is, you know, justice and the Ace of Cups. I think the underlying theme here is forgiveness and healing. Okay, um, I think you, you both can heal from this. I think you both can learn from this, and I think you both can forgive each other and also forgive yourselves. And I think that's really what's going to, you know, build this connection and it's really what's going to reconnect you is just forgiving each other and moving on letting go and moving on okay if you do that you'll be able to move forward but if you still you know if you stay stuck in the past and if you stay fixated on what happened here it'll be very hard for the both of you to move on in that energy all right guys and these are your messages thank you so much for watching and listening please uh, show your support to the channel if you haven't already by subscribing um, hit that subscribe button guys if you haven't um, and by liking sharing or commenting thank you so much again guys bye for now